Molecular orbital diagrams can be intimidating, but for Li2, it is not. Let me show you. Here I've got the electron configuration diagram for one lithium atom. It is three electrons, one S2, two S1. And I have another one over here. These two atoms are going to interact together and the orbitals are going to overlap to create molecular orbitals. When you combine two S's, ha, sorry, when you combine a 1S and a 1S, that's two of them together, you can end up with two molecular orbitals, one at a lower energy. It is called a sigma 1S bonding orbital and you make a corresponding anti-bonding orbital in case their symmetries were opposite. We like to put a star right up there for that. When the two S's overlap, you get a similar thing, a sigma 2S bonding orbital at a slightly lower energy than each of the corresponding two S's and a sigma 2S anti-bonding orbital at a slightly higher energy. I like putting dotted lines in here to show that it's the one S's that are contributing to each. Now this one's pretty easy because they're both Li atoms. So the one S's have the same energy to start with and the two S's have the same energy to start with. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Now, among the one S's that are combining to make these molecular orbitals, I have one, two, three, four valence electrons. So one, two, three, four electrons fill that. Those were actually inner shell electrons. So it's probably no surprise that it's a wash down here. Two electrons in bonding orbitals and two in antibonding orbitals. But in the two S overlaps, we only have two electrons total. That's one, two. Remember the Aufbau principle is go from the bottom up and that's it, this is the six electrons. Note that we have two electrons in the bonding orbital and no electrons in the corresponding anti-bonding orbital. That's going to give us a bond order of one. And if you don't believe me, the bond order is the number of electrons in bonding orbitals, one, two, three, four, minus the number of electrons in anti-bonding orbitals, that's none and two, which is two, cut in half. Two, four minus two is two divided by two is one. And a bond order of one is a single bond in general. The molecular orbital diagram is just what I've done here. I'm just showing you the bond order there. And the bond order of one implies to me that dilithium or two lithiums connected to each other is just Li connected with Li. I wouldn't call it a covalent bond because these are metals could probably call it a metallic bond of some kind, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for the molecular orbital diagram, which I have done for you and done well, might I add. Best of luck to you in your journeys.